Here are 10 reasons why I think Ireland should stop doing these type of Halloween updates. Now, number one is a lot of people don't like these type of events where you go ahead and queue up. A lot of people actually rather in when they had an event all the way over here in the distance where you could go ahead and kill a boss, you can go ahead and kill the candles in the graveyard and stuff like that. Now, the second one is since these events are really repetitive and boring, since it's the same thing over and over again in these kind of queue up matches and now these queue up matches only really work in like certain actual games not really islands in my opinion and a lot of people actually agree that this event gets boring after like three games now the third reason is it's pretty much based on an auto clicker for this event since you don't go ahead and get points or any other other tasks since you don't go ahead and get any other points or the other tasks then you really only get it for the hitting the boss and it's kind of leading on to my next point what is number four and it's pretty rigged how you actually don't go ahead and get score like a point for going ahead and getting the actual heirloom in the graveyard and actually talking to this figure or something like that and doing all the tasks in the actual the haunted house now the thing is i think it should go ahead and give you a score so it makes it so more people don't just stand around that gate and wait for someone to go down there everyone actually has to go down there and the first person actually get it might get 20 points this will make more people actually do the actual task instead of actually going ahead and trying to just get to the boss first and now this will go ahead and lead on to my next one is a lot of people just stand at this door let everyone else do all the tasks and just wait for this door to open now it's kind of unfair since they can just stand here and just wait and like they won't have to do anything you don't get points for any of these other tasks so they don't care they only want to get here first so then you can go ahead and get most points now it's pretty rigged how you could just sit out for like pretty much the whole thing you could be last in this score point when you're finding the actual boss and go ahead and get the last hit on the boss and then boom you've gone up by 50 to 75 points but then you've gone ahead and passed everyone and you can go ahead and get 50 points now i think that should not be a thing and it's rigged how that is a thing since you could go ahead and be like last and go ahead and get up to first and then you basically got no skill there now leading on to the next one it's actually not the same to go ahead and AFK over 9 like in a haunted house you can't really AFK and pretty much you can't really do anything like that and it's just fun to AFK wake up and buy as much as collagens but like it's just fun to go and do that and now another one is they focus way too much on other new things that we don't want now for example this could be for a new like code and script and stuff so say for example all these new tasks and stuff in this haunted house like the candle one that's all new scripting and coding what could it take up to three to five days for them to go ahead and code that and as well with the actual book one and stuff like that where you have to actually make it so they all turn in towards each other in the door opens and just simple stuff like that takes so long for them especially stuff like this fog spawning and anything like that just takes a lot longer time what we don't really need now another reason is they actually focused a lot more on the furniture and stuff in the actual shop guy when they could have just gone ahead and used this candle as a prop this little lamp thing here like they have so many props in this haunted house that they could go ahead and use instead of actually trying to make new ones like we wouldn't care if we had this right here like we don't care about different things like just use the things that you have in the haunted house already now in this event they've actually rushed a little bit where there's kind of a little bit of glitches now i'm not going to show one but there is one with the potion one since i don't want people doing that glitch and i have told velias about it but there's glitches to go ahead and get the potion before actually doing all the candles what is quite annoying and a lot of people abuse it and the next one is it confuses a lot of players on where to go and actually figure out how to play the new game game mode now the reason why i kind of say this is that it doesn't really have like a point on where to go and now as you can kind of see right down there i've got this arrow little thing right there with a dot and now if i actually look it kind of shows where to go now like if they actually had this on the npc then go down to the actual graveyard then go back up to the npc then to actually walk up to the haunted house it would be so much easier to actually know where to go for new players and etc now i they, now they already have this system to actually follow an object with this little arrow thing so they could just implant that quite easily now click on this video right up here to actually learn how to get more tickets faster in roblox islands